<laughs> okay so for today's video oh man you guys have been cracking me up like crazy in the comment section below in the past two videos about all that food tasting how they didn't do you guys justice how none of that looked appealing how none of you would have eaten it or touched it oh man it was too funny reading those comments um this is another video by buzzfeed however it's a uh, it's called Jewish Moms Fry Each Other's Brisket. Hey, this one's a little bit more recent. It says it's only three years old. So, you know, uh, this lady is not looking too impressed uh, from the thumbnail here on what this piece of brisket is. Uh, I, I can't say I've really had a very good brisket. Um, and I don't know if there's a difference between like a Jewish brisket or maybe a brisket that I have had. Maybe the word brisket is a Jewish term. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I figure, uh, why don't we get into it? That wasn't so nice. I feel so bad. You can't make Jewish mothers be mean to each other. <laughs> All right, so Jewish moms try each other's brisket. Okay. Hi, my name is Marcy Basha. I'm Naomi Grewer. Hi, I'm Helene. Hi, I'm Jennifer Daniels. My name is Shannon Sarna, and I'm so happy to be here. Every holiday we have, except for Thanksgiving, there must be brisket. <laughs> it's a crowd pleaser and everybody loves it. Everybody Wait, she said every holiday they have? My name is Shannon Sarna, and I'm so happy to be here. Every holiday we have, except for Thanksgiving, there must be Okay, so holidays are considered like, I guess, Passover and stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. Be brisket. <laughs> it's a crowd pleaser and everybody loves it. Everybody expects it and they bring containers to take stuff home. So what makes the perfect brisket? Okay, well definitely you have to have love. When you're thinking about your family and the <laughs> holiday and your cooking, all yeah. of that is going into your cooking. So that's number one. You gotta like steer the shit out of it till it's like super caramelized on both sides. And you like add all your aromatics. I gotta say, I'm already looking forward to all the comments on this one especially from the moms and the and the women who cook in the family oh man throwing throwing in their little tips and tricks and all that stuff i'd love to hear from you guys carrots onions celery people do it with beer people do it with tomatoes people do it with soy sauce then it goes in the oven for a good three plus hours watch a good movie you know do some laundry um and just continuing on and adding more and more love to it jewish food is all super ugly food brown mushy it's terrible to photograph <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not expecting her to be. <laughs> Ooh, so savage right there. Jewish food is <laughs> ugly. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was not expecting her to say that. Okay. And it looks kind of gross. But the taste is just amazing. I'm going to be 100% honest when I evaluate each brisket. I think all these Jewish moms can take it. Okay, bring it. Oof. Okay, so Naomi, uh, I think she was the one who says you got to cook with love, right? I've tried many brisket recipes, but I'm very excited about this one. There was dredging, there was searing, simmering and boiling and waiting and adding more ingredients. So this was a lot of work. Um, but in the end, we were like, oh my God, it's so good. Oh, this one looks... It's cut very thick. Not my thing. Ooh. Okay, so brisket, are you supposed to shave it like uh, at a deli kind of thing? You're supposed to have it nice and thin? The chunky veggies, but it smells pretty good. I'm gonna try. It's all right. It's good, not great, but it's definitely, you know, edible. I, I think maybe it could use a little more flavor. I don't like how it's cut. It's cut a little too thick for my liking. No question. Is this lady um, wearing a wig? I can't really tell because I feel like I could see her scalp, her hairline. But I do think I saw a wedding ring. And also her shirt is a little bit uh, in the unmodest category, I guess you could say. I love how they're like so little catty, but they're like nice about it too. It's funny. I think it could use a little bit more sauce or gravy, sauce. however you want to call it. Like this that. one's really good. Oh, she it's likes tender, it. but it's not overly sweet. I think this one is really excellent. 
This one's pretty good. Can you tell how much someone loves your family based on <laughs> She clearly loves her family a lot. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> no, we all love our families. Come on, guys. I think I'm going with a six here. I would serve this to my family if I had to. I know they would prefer mine. <laughs> oh, I love how she emphasized if I had to. Okay. Well, that lady gave her a six. Okay. Over this, of course, but one to ten, I would give this a six. I think I would give this one like a, like a 9.5. Oh. It's really good. I'd give her an eight just because I got to leave room for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Very good score. Marcy. Uh, Marcy. I think that was the first lady, right? It has like the Burberry scarf, I think it is. I'd like to say that yeah, it is okay. a family recipe handed down from my mom, my children's grandma, and their great grandma, Laura. However, I've definitely tweaked it quite a bit over the years. My secret ingredient is an entire bottle of red wine. Minus maybe a few sips. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, this one looks really, really nice. Now, uh, one lady mentioned the chunky vegetables. Is that like something that's normally served with the brisket? Do you usually have like, obviously, I guess you can't just have, well, I mean, I guess you could have just a plate of brisket, but you would want to mix a little bit of veggies with it, right? Can I request when you do mine that you put a nice piece out like this? This looks pretty mine. I'm going to make a plate for you. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't. It looks like it was cooked well. Looks like it has some fat on it, so that's always good. I don't know. Ooh. A little dry looking, but I guess we'll have to taste it to see. This is good. I think it's really good, but just to bring it up to that great level, I would just add a little bit more flavor to it. It's all right. Not my favorite. I don't love that I see the baby carrots in here like this. This lady, she's got a thing with the veggies. <laughs> What's wrong with a big hunk of a baby carrot? Baby carrots are cute. I like them. Which are kind of the ones that you get in the bag. The baby carrots say like, it was easy to throw the throw the carrots in. I didn't have oh, to peel anything. Gotcha. Um, so maybe she was rushed for time or she doesn't like to peel or she had her nails done maybe. But I think everything is really- <laughs> Why, why can't it simply be that she likes baby carrots like that, straight out of the bag? Oh, that's funny. Maybe she had her nails done. Oh, that's a possibility. Really good. It looks like <laughs> just like the perfect homemade holiday brisket. I think I'd give it a six. I would give this a seven. I would rate this an eight. I would serve this to my kids. I don't know what she did to this, but it doesn't <laughs> taste like... I was just waiting for this lady and the music that like <laughs> it's like a doomsday music of this lady just ripping into her jewish brisket at all i think there's like peppers in this it's weird mm, no i don't like this one at all i would not serve this one to my family not even to my worst enemies i wouldn't serve this one can i give it a minus one <laughs> wow <laughs> Wow. Okay, so I think this is the lady that we just saw. Helen? H Helena? I think this is her brisket. I make the best brisket of everybody. We'll That's see. what everybody tells me, we'll especially see. my husband and my children. My mom always made it. Well, they're kind of obligated, I feel like, to tell you that if they want to keep eating, baby, you know? My grandmother always made it. My aunt's always made it. Now I'm making it. All right. So we've got a dicer. She dices her carrots. This smells really good, and um, it looks very tomatoey, savory. Let's give it a try. This one has nice flavor. I like this. The sauce is really good, but it's a little bit tough. This one's a little Ooh. sweeter than my likings. Um, I don't enjoy continuing with this. <laughs> oh, she just pushes it away. I don't enjoy continuing this. Uh, that's a very polite way of saying this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, okay. this one. Um, I think it's somebody who probably learned it from their mom and just like did exactly how they they were kind of like taught to do it. I would give it a five. 
I think I'd give it an eight. I would make this if someone said, oh, try this recipe. It was. Wow. It's so crazy to see like everyone's different palettes and stuff. Like this lady has given everybody else sixes so far, but then people who have given other people like nines and eights gave this one a six. And then she's giving this one an eight. Oh boy. Really good. I'd try it. And I don't know if it would replace my family recipe, but I think I would, I would try it. And I think my family would like it. I would give this a seven. I would give it a fair five. Now I just have to only hope that I don't ever bump into any of the other women like in ShopRite or somewhere. <laughs> okay, I don't get that reference, ShopRite. Is that like a Jewish supermarket or something like that? Wow, 6.3, okay. Okay, Shannon, Shannon. Oh, right, this is the girl who gave like a 9.5 who said the... Jewish food was just ugly. Right, right, right. Hers looks very saucy. I like it. I don't know if I would ever say like my brisket is the best, but I'm, I am proud of my brisket. So over the years, it's kind of developed between a hybrid of um, Uncle David Simpkins brisket and my husband, who is also a really good cook. I like to add beer, soda, um, homemade stock, and a lot of red wine. I like to serve it for parties um, shredded with little mini homemade challah rolls, and that's one of everyone's favorite. Oh, so it's kind of like a pulled pork sandwich then at that point. This looks like brisket, but you know, brisket's not a pretty food. Well, it's cutting really nicely. It's really tender. Mm. Too much fat. <laughs> oh, Marcy's a little savage. I like this. Um, yeah, I don't know why they keep saying it's not pretty. I, I don't, maybe it's because I'm a man. I don't know, but like a hunk of meat with all that juicy gravy on it. I don't know what's more pretty than that, you know? The flavor isn't terrible, but the cut of meat I can't get past. It probably would have worked better as a shredded barbecue, not as a whole slice like as that. As she normally I like to does. Serve it shredded? Too fatty for me. It's a little bit fatty, and that is a problem when you frisk it. Tastes better than it looks. Let me just taste it again. Let me see. If I had to rate it, I think I'd give it a five. Four? Sorry. Ooh. I'll give it a five. It's good. Different, but it's good. Oh. I mean, I think Shannon is now beating Marcy. I think Marcy's at the five, right? So the last lady is the one with the weird palette that's like six and eights and sixes. And... Jennifer, right? Hers looks really good. I like that. So this is my brisket. That's a recipe that's sort of evolved over years. Lots of family feedback. And I guess I can't give all of the secrets, but there's Coca-Cola in here. Oh. It's a family favorite. From I think I've seen people use Coke in like, uh, if they're doing like a nice barbecue sauce or something, because of all the sugars. And once the cola kind of evaporates, you get all that nice caramelized sugary flavor. So I could see that working for a brisket if you're making like a gravy. For holidays and my kids kind of think that it's the best brisket out there. Okay, it smells really good. It presents nicely. It's saucy. There are no carrots, there are no onions, so I'm a little suspicious. Give it a try. It happens to be good. This one's, this one's really good. Very similar to mine. Really sweet. <laughs> Very similar to hers. I like that. Uh, it sounded like Jennifer's getting some pretty good uh, feedback so far. Spicy. Maybe it needed to cook like a smidge longer, but overall, I really like it. She does a nice job. She did a very nice job. Okay. This is good. It feels like maybe there's um maybe some brown sugar in there. A little bit more sweet. Probably more of my liking than, as I told you, my pizza bagels likings are. For half Jewish, half Italian children. Oh, that's what she calls a pizza bagel. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. I like that pizza bagel in refer reference to her kids. But it's not bad. I would definitely serve this to my family. I would give it an eight. I would give it a nine. I would give it a seven. Ooh. I'll give this a nine. Oh, Jennifer won for sure. I want to I want Uh, 
<laughs> My family said if I didn't win, it had to be rigged. That's pretty funny. Oh man, that one was awesome. I like that. I'm going to have to see what you guys have to say about that one in the comment section below. Um, as always, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this one. I'm definitely going to have to try a lot of these foods now so you guys can get my own input, not just these people's. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one.